Welcome back. Much different feel at UT today. Game week has arrived. While Charlie Strong still has a lot of questions heading into Saturday's contest against North Texas, he's happy that the wait is almost over. Charlie Strong will tweak the lineups. Didn't put out a depth chart or a starting lineup. He knows who he wants in there. It's all about the Longhorns in training camp. Now they game plan. 230 days ago. Charlie Strong walked into Belmont Hall on the west side of the stadium as Mac Brown's replacement. This morning, he walked into that same room just five days away from his coaching debut. Just uh, sitting there on January and now to, to finally get to this time, it's, it's, it's really, it is a lot of emotion. And, but I just, you know, you, you try to set it aside because you still had to go get a football team prepared and ready to go play. And, uh, and it's going to be a great buildup, not only for me, but also for the players. Certainly for David Ash, emotions have to be running strong. Longhorn quarterback has had a great camp, according to his head coach and his quarterbacks coach, Sean Watson. September 21st, the last time he played in a game for the Longhorns, that was when he went out against Kansas State. You know, I think it's going to just be thankfulness, you know, um, and, and an attitude of praise to God, you know, that I get to do this again. And the Lord's seen me through kind of a rough, rough year. And uh, I'm just blessed to have another opportunity to go play some football. So it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. No word on Jackson Shipley, although the good news is he has worked out with the Horns listed as day to day with the hamstring injury, their top receiver last year. And their starting safety will either be Jason Hall, a true freshman from Grand Prairie, or walk on Dylan Haynes from Lago Vista with safety Josh Turner serving that suspension along with the Jay Johnson, Desmond Harrison, all three out for Saturday. Beyond that, not known.